புதுப்பிப்பிற்கு ஓர் வரைமுறையை வகுத்தெடுத்த எங்கள் மொழியின் வண்ணத்தை விவரிக்கின்றோம் ஐ எம் இமென்ஸ்லி ப்ளீஸ் டு வெல்கம் டாக்டர் கே முரளி சார் ப்ரொஃபஸர் அண்ட் ஹெட் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் சிவில் இன்ஜினியரிங் டு டெலிவர் தி வெல்கம் அட்ரஸ் respected dignitaries on and off the dais happy morning to all today we have gathered here to gain knowledge and fundamentals and applications of textile reinforced concrete construction in india from the eminent resource persons from reputed institutions i am highly honored and feel privileged to have been given opportunity to deliver the welcome address on this very special occasion it is our utmost duty to welcome professor dr sunita k nayar madam from iit palakkad who, who accepted our invitation to inaugurate and deliver a special lecture on trc in the two day national seminar on fundamentals and applications of textile reinforced concrete construction in india sponsored by indian national science academy i welcome you madam i take immense pleasure in welcoming our principal sir professor dr p govind sami sir for presiding over this function i welcome you sir i take this opportunity to welcome all the resource persons for accepting our invitation to share their expertise in textile reinforced concrete construction and I and my sincere gratitude to all the experts and i take this opportunity to to exp- <coughs> express uh, my gratitude to sachin paul who will deliver during the se- session 2 today he is also here during the inauguration function i welcome you sir i take this opportunity to welcome all the participants who are present here and as well as attending through online from various institutions such as srm university chennai pavai college of engineering namakal sri ramakrishna institute of technology kaimato vaigai college of engineering madurai government college of technology kaimato sri krishna college of engineering and technology kaimato national college of engineering koilpatti pa college polachi and puducherry technology kelan institute puducherry i take this immense pleasure in welcoming our deans professors faculty members studio mct team and all the staff members for this inauguration once again i extend my warm welcome to all thank you thank you for the initiation of the event sir On behalf of MCET, I invite our respected principal, Dr. P. Govind Sami sir, to deliver the presidential address. Sunida K. Naya, Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Palakkad. And Professor Dr. K. Murali, Head of the Department of Civil Engineering, Dr. Mahalinga College of Engineering and Technology, Pallachi. our faculty members of uh, mcet of civil engineering our participants from various other institutions students participants and faculty participants very good morning to anandal person here uh, first of all i would like to thank uh, dr sunidha nayar department of civil engineering iit palakkad for having given her concern to be here with us today to inaugurate this session and uh, and interact with you in a wonderful forum uh, as far as this title is concerned being i am blank to mechanical engineering uh, i know uh, pretty well about rcc that i had about it we discussed uh, with the civil engineering faculty and we understood what kind of project they are going in and but this thought to- this topic textile rcc is uh, it was new to me when i uh, when i see the invitations and uh, uh, understood the topic and this i was just browsing it and what it is and today also before coming here and had a little discussions uh, about this topic i understood and it's quite interesting and then i understood this is a topic uh, this is a topic first time uh it is recognized uh, or sponsored by the authority and uh, the things are going on and i appreciate the participants uh yeah, physically present here and uh, many are connected with the online uh, through online and uh, that shows the numbers shows that you are all very keen interest on this particular topic of course uh, today the session definitely going to be a, a wonderful session i think you will uh, get to know what it is exactly uh my ad- not advice my uh, uh uh expectation is from for the students and staff like understand and uh, uh the concept what we, they are discussing here and 
try to implement it in a small uh, amount manner or spend some time and physically do it, experiment it and have that kind of experience in your career that is most, most very, very, very important. Uh, that is to be happened. So every after uh, attending sessions like this or meeting people like uh, the chief guest of today and uh, you have to get connected with them like for a long time. So networking is very, very important. Uh, nowadays, like how many uh, professional members academically or industry in a corporate kind of state, like how many members that you are getting connected that shows the individual person's ability and their knowledge. So uh, and this respect and uh, this program will be definitely useful. Uh, I'm also eager to know like uh, much more things about this particular topic. So I don't want to take much time because I'm also very eager to hear from them like technically what this um, uh, Texel RCC. With these few words, once again, I, I wish all the participants uh, have a wonderful time here and uh, uh, again, happy learning. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you for those precious words, sir. Now, I call upon Mr. S. Krishna Kumar, sir, Assistant Professor SS, to introduce our chief case. Good morning to one and all present here. First of all, I thank the organizing team to choose to give the introduction about today's chief guest. Uh, Dr. Sunita K. Nair is currently a faculty of Environmental Science and Sustainable Engineering Center at IIT Palakkad. Prior to joining the Department of Civil Engineering at IIT, she was a scientist at IIT Madras under the DST WOSCA program. She holds a PhD degree from IIT Madras and an MTech degree in Structural Engineering from NIT Calicut and BTEC honors in NSS Engineering College, Kerala. She had a, over a decade of teaching experience at Amrita University, Coimbatore, before moving to IIT. She has been executing sponsored research projects in various topics related to concrete technology and design with funding of over 1.5 crores from DST, including one on textile reinforced concrete. A recipient of a INA award for innovative project and ICA Ultratech Outstanding Thesis Award of the ICA Tamil Nadu chapter for the year 2016. Her thesis has been on design and application of fiber reinforcement concrete. With over 25 peer-reviewed publications in concrete technology, she has been pivotal in the publication of ICA guideline for FRC, which was further adopted and published as IS-1716-2021. The test configuration, test procedure, and uh, reporting methods described in the guidelines are based on the characterization program done as a part of her PhD dissertation. She was also an active member of ICA TC-09 on industrial flooring and has contributed significantly to the design chapter of this ICA guideline on ground supported slabs for industrial flooring applications. Currently, she is a member of the working group of BASCED 54WG8, responsible for drafting the details for TRC. She has been involved in many consultancy projects with major industries such as MRF, Owens Corning, St. Gobian, Chrysler, etc. Her current research interests include development of sustainable building materials using CND waste, carbon circularity in co construction sector, life cycle analysis and sustainability in construction, special concretes, characterization and design of fiber reinforcement concrete, etc. Once again, I welcome you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Successful knowledge transfer involves neither computers nor documents, but rather interactions between people. I invite our eminent chief guest, Dr. Sunita K. Naya, ma'am, from IIT Palakkad to deliver the inaugural address. Good morning. I uh, welcome all the participants offline and on the web. Uh, first of all, let me thank the organizers of this seminar, two-day seminar for having invited me and uh, given me the opportunity to visit this institute, which I've been hearing for past, I think, 15 to 20 years. I've always wanted to uh, visit this and I got an opportunity as an invited guest. So thank you for that. Uh, respected uh, Govindan Swami sir and Murli sir, 
Uh, it's great to see that your team here is taking up the challenge of introducing new technologies in civil engineering. Uh, civil engineering or civil engineers generally, we tend to run away from terms like innovation and uh, modern and all. We always prefer the age-old conventional mason-based work. If you go to any site also, you, if you go there as uh, after your graduation, you will be surprised to see that you will be dominated by the mason's experience. It's very rare that we as engineers get to implement things on site, but it is time that things change. World is changing. All other se sectors are changing. And we, one limitation that civil engineering faced was the economical constraints that we had because all the projects that we get involved are large scale projects, both economically and dimensionally. If you look, both economical and dimensionally, it is huge projects. So it was always, uh, we are always wary of implementing innovations or new technologies. But that, that is changing today. That is changing today, I can say that confidently, because now we see that the gap between academics and industry, that is change, is coming smaller and smaller. That gap is being closed. Academics is spilling over to industry. Industry in turn is turning towards academics. And textile reinforced concrete or fiber reinforced concrete, these are all technologies that have been adopted by the industry very fast. When I still remember in 2008, when I visited IIT Madras for attending a conference on fiber reinforced concrete, that was the first time possibly in India people were talking about this new material textile reinforced concrete. I, I, I didn't know what to do. I thought that maybe I should do PhD in that. At that point of time, Professor Gettu, who is my guide and uh, Sachin's guide, he said that it's not possible to implement textile reinforced concrete now in India. But I think now, 15 years down the line, thanks to people like Sachin, now we are ready to launch this technology in our country and it is being launched and it is being adopted.
அதை என்ன பண்ணாங்க
Kutub. Check, check it out. Check it
ஹலோ 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 கேட்குதா செக் 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 கேட்குதா செக் ஹலோ ஹலோ செக் கேட்குதா செக் செக் கேட்குதா ஹலோ ஹலோ செக் 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 ஓகே ஹலோ செக் 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 ஹலோ 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 செக் 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 செக்
செக் செக் செக் செக் கேட்குதா ரொம்ப கம்மியாக இருக்குது everyone had a great time now we invite our chief guest dr sunita k nayar ma'am to share her expertise on trc and uh, i think those who joined online we will have faculty and research scholars also so yeah i will try to balance my talk once again i will introduce myself i am coming from iit palakkad and faculty at uh, the environmental sciences and sustainable engineering center and i have a secondary affiliation in the department of civil engineering i am a civil engineer by training and a structural engineer uh in structural engineering was my mtech but i have done my phd in materials and specifically on heat technology so today's talk is on trc textile reinforced concrete but i am not going to get into the uh, technical uh, aspects like how to test and characterize these this material rather i would like to talk about the evolution of this material all right so uh, can we go to the next slide thank you sir yes thank you so the outline of my presentation is like this there will be a discussion on uh, concrete sustainability i know why sustainability you will you will understand why i am bringing not because i belong to essence and i have nothing else to speak but because slowly i will move on to the topic after introducing this term of sustainability in construction what's the role of high performance composites today in today's construction industry then Uh, the two composites that i want to discuss here one is the fiber reinforced concrete the other is the textile reinforced concrete why because textile reinforced concrete is like the uh, what do you say the younger brother of a fiber reinforced concrete or younger sister of fiber reinforced concrete or it could be the other way trc is possibly the elder sister or elder brother of fr In TRC, I am only touching upon basics, applications. What's the way forward that we should move? Um, I, I hope. Uh, how are you predicting to the um, to the online? They are only really seeing the slide. Is it okay? So, all of you, please. Uh, draw, I want to draw attention to this graph. So, can you see these these uh, these legends? We have ceramics. Glass, plaster and gypsum, aggregates, brick, wood, concrete. So this, I don't know, all of them are looking like violet, but you can recognize these larger vertical bars. That's what is concrete. Okay. So what is this uh, graph representing? It is the global building materials use, and it is classified according to materials. Okay, not according to structures. So, what is the most striking thing in this curve, in this graph? It is the dominance of concrete over all the other materials, right? How much concrete is dominating as a material used in construction? Why? Why it should dominate? Why should concrete dominate? I think you all are familiar with all the advantages of concrete: low cost. Very high compressive strength, easy to mold, can be made with local materials. I think there is a list of advantages. It is insulating both. It's very high 
water and fire resistant, right? So you have a list of advantages of concrete. Because of that, and it is also reflected here. That's why we have this large bars for concrete. Now look at the worldwide distribution of concrete usage, of material usage. In 2000, you can see China and India. China is this 25%, India is 13%. About 35%, more than 35% of the total global building material consumption is being done in India and China. Okay. Now in 2017 it is worse. 55% in China level. So we have now moved to almost 70%. And this is not coming down in the recent future. Okay. But you know what is the contradictory thing? Contradictory fact is that India, in India, concrete is still in the unorganized sector. Concrete is still being the large chunk of concrete is still being manufactured in the unorganized sector. What do you mean by unorganized sector? Site mixing. No people, how do they make concrete? Just take some jelly, sand, put cement, any amount of water, mix it so that it gets workable, put it in your mold. This is how still people are doing. You will not be surprised to see that when you go to a site, the mason may not have even heard of the term superplasticizer. They still work with water. You know? So, out of the 15 percentage, if you assume almost 65 percentage is still in the un unorganized sector. Okay, we are talking about concrete being consumed at this large proportion that is manufactured in the unorganized sector. It's not a big challenge, it's not a small challenge we are trying to overcome. Now let's see the exponential. So, Let's try to match this with the infrastructure growth. You can see China's infrastructure growth and India's infrastructure growth. From 1980 to around 2017. This is almost matching the growth of concrete consumption. Because it is very well known in the world that the GDP growth is directly related to cement consumption. No? GDP growth means increase in infrastructure, increase in public funding, in increase, increase in the investment on public resources, public infrastructure. So that's why we have almost matching growth. Now, what is the problem that we are facing? The growth is exponential. What about resources? Definitely. 
technology will be feasible. Bringing tons of sand from moon. That's not possible, right? So we need something that is technologically feasible. What is feasible? Because what is the cost of one kg of concrete? To have any idea? How much does one bottle of water cost? One bottle of water. One litre of water. Twenty rupees. Right? Twenty. 
mind of the leopard. Second, we have to improve the performance of concrete with respect to tensile capacities or ductility. Right? Then, what was the third one? Improve the capacity, durability characteristics. So, durability is directly related to the cracking. So, reduce the cracking potential of concrete. All the things that I have discussed indicate towards these three requirements. One is reduce volume of concrete, increase tensile capacities and improve the durability of concrete. For achieving all these three together, what we can do is we can use composites, high performance composites, sorry, how do we go back? Can't I go back? Ah, okay. Yeah. So what do we do? We add new materials such as fabric or fiber reinforcement. If we add fibers or fabric to the to the concrete. All these three requirements can be reduced. How that can be done is what I am going to talk today. This was just a prologue to introducing the materials. Okay. At this point of time, if there is anything you want to ask me, I will pause. Anything you want to discuss with me? What I have just discussed with you. Have you understood? Have you? Have I evoked any new thought process in you? What is the takeaway? It's not that technical. You show the pie chart, you know. But in India, personally, it gets reduced by love. Yeah. Uh, that we, what medicine then we... I have no idea. I didn't go through that. No, no, it could be also that the total population has increased. You know, that could be the reason. But China is 55 million. No, no, China is... China, they have population has been controlled now. But still they but are infrastructure is developing. That is that could be the reason. Usage of materials will be more. That could be the reason. That's what comes to my mind. Anything else? Students, are you ready for a change in concrete construction? Are you ready? How many of you want to pursue civil engineering as a career? I'm very happy, I'm very surprised and very happy. If I ask this question to my students, very few of them will raise their hands. They either want to be IAS officers or IAS officers or they want to go into software or into finance. You know, but I'm very happy that your majority of your students want to continue in civil engineering. In 1990s, when I graduated, there was there was only one person who remained in civil engineering from my batch. That was me. Everyone else moved to software, you know. So yeah, so I'm glad. Okay. So these lessons are going to be very important for you because you are the future. You are going to be implementing these changes that we want to see in construction sector. Okay. I always tell my students, uh, you know, at one point of time in 2000, early 2000s, if even usage of a material like fire ash was not being accepted by governments, government agencies, because people didn't understand. This is something that everyone knows. All are doing. This is something that everyone knows. All are doing. I think. 99% of concrete research in our country is towards this composition optimization strategy. 
structural engineering. That is performance enhancement. You can integrate your design using durability design, serviceability design, or a cracking design. You can change your design strategy adopted to improve the sustainability value of concrete. So how do we do that? We can do that by improving the sustainability at the material level or at structural level. One example I give. Material level is like what we have just discussed. We place cement with something and all, or use special bond. Structural level is like, you know, these hollow slabs and all. Where you remove material, where you don't need it. You need concrete in the compression area. You don't need concrete in the tension area. So you remove concrete from the tension area. So I made a payment and I designed it for 10 years. Okay, what happened after 10 years? If I design a payment for 10 years, what will happen after 10 years? You have to replace it with the new payment, right? What if I can design it for 20 years? You are reducing the material usage by half, right? The 80s was fiber reinforced concrete. What is fiber reinforced concrete? Very simple, you take your same concrete, they act as three dimensional reinforcements. So these are, these are fibers, these are fibers, hook bended fibers, straight fibers, that you add to your concrete so that, see what happens, can you see here? Can you see what the crack is being? Allowing the crack to open up. This is like a plaster. No, you can prolong the life by stitching the crack using fibers. So, how does it improve the performance? You have homogeneous distribution of randomly oriented short fibers. See, this is how fibers will be distributed in your concrete. It will increase ductility because brittleness will come when it cannot be cracking. So, ductility will increase. Again, as told, Concrete, we assume that it can, doesn't have any strain carrying capacity. But since we have added fibers, it will delay and control crack propagation ratio is length to diameter ratio. It can go up. Today in India, we have around 80 mm as the largest aspect ratio for steel fibers. There may be microfibers and macrofibers. If the diameter of fiber is less than 0.3 mm, we call it micro. If it's greater than 0.3, we call it macro. Classification is good to concrete. This is what it does. If you see this, this orange curve, can you see this small orange curve? Because of this behavior, this is the flexural test, the four-point bending test. If you see, you can see that the plain concrete almost holds no load beyond first crack. Whereas Fiber concrete, you will see an increasing capacity beyond the first crack. This is what fibers does. Sometimes it will increase the flexural strength also, not always. See, if you see this red curve and the violet curve, violet curve is a hook-bended steel fiber, 30 kg per meter cube. This is 15 kg per meter cube. Both does not change the flexural strength. Flexural strength of the material we get by using all applications where we want thin walled structures like shells, tunnel linings, precast panels, sandwich panels. You are going almost three times. You know? So you must use it judiciously, don't use it everywhere. Only when it warrants the application, you have to use fibers. Okay. Now, fibers in contact. More screen time you want, right? More, more mobile time. Huh? Now you have Samsung. You want Samsung mobile phone? You want iPhone, no? Next. Isn't it? So everybody wants more. Okay. How many of you want to be We wanted strain hardening behavior. It was understood that Increasing the aspect 
ratio. I told you that aspect ratio is L by D. Length to diameter. You have infinite length of fibers. Infinite length of fibers. A composite which has continuous fiber is what is called a textile reinforcement. From the discrete short fiber, we have moved to an infinitely long continuous fiber. We didn't stop with that. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll tell you that what, what, what happened after that. So, you, what happened is due to the significant strength and activity improvement, we could use this for very severe loading conditions. Okay, now I come to that. So, this is what is TRC system. You remember ferrocement, hmm? grandfather of external reinforced concrete. You know, ferrocement was very popular in the early, uh, early 2000s, early 2000, the end, ending, uh, ending part of the 21st century, was, uh, ferrocement was almost phased out. So now we are having a similar thing. But not with the steel mesh, we have oh, your, your, your textile alloy in concrete, right? Why you can't put Why you can't put any textile in concrete? <coughs> Alkalinity. The pore solution of concrete is highly alkaline. So do you. you can't put organic material in concrete. It will disintegrate. So you need to put materials that can withstand the alkalinity of concrete. Okay. So, the advantage is you can make very thin elements. Like you can see here, this is a drain, uh, storm water drain segment. This was, cast, this was possibly one of the first elements that we cast in IT Madras. Our friend Sachin was involved in this casting. So, can you see how thin it is? This is the storm water drain. You know, on the side of the roads. You can just go and keep this. And in fact, this was not cast in this manner. It was cast as one sheet. Now, it, let me introduce you to the terminologies that are there in TRC. This is very important for those who want to work with this material. Okay. How do you make this fabric? You will have fibers, infinitely long fibers, which are which has very high tensile strength. They are bundled together. Number of them you will bundle together to form what is called a yarn or a rope. Uh, you can think of it like choir, choir rope. You know, the choir rope is made, it's, it's a yarn of single fibers that you get from the coconut, isn't it? Those who have these uh, choir needles in your home, you will know. Small, small fibers you will bundle together to form yarns. Then what you do? You weave them to form a fabric. You know that the uh, you know, what is that? Weaving means where you can make these long ropes into some design of fabric. So that is the different stages. I'm saying this is because properties may be different in these two directions based on your weaving design. If you have uniform weaving, then it's
Sinjar University, uh, Sinjar Institute doesn't allow mobile phones. Uh, we allow to bring mobile phones. And I saw a board, no mobile phones not allowed. It's long back. It's long back. Long, long, long back, okay. Is it allowed? All of you have mobile phones? Let's take it out. Take it out. So B 
big task. That's why with FRC you can't actually achieve this kind of behavior that you can get from peers. Now what are the type of fabric materials we use for making TRC? I told you that it has to be that resistance is high. Even if a bomb comes and hits, it will not fail because it's not brittle anymore. It's quite ductile. That's why we are proposing it for crash guards, military bunkers, for sewer pipes, water treatment plants, sewer treatment plants, all these applications we can go for TRC. In fact, the work that we are doing is concentrating on treatment plants and sewer pipe. Treatment plants and water tank. Once we are convinced with that, we will move on to look at military bunkers. Okay. Globally, because if you reduce activity, your passivation will go and your steel will still start corroding. But here we don't have that issue. There is no steel. You can go up to 7 or so, no problem. Even if your pH is 7, nothing is going to happen. So now we are thinking of developing compatible matrices which can, which, which can actually have E glass in them for a longer period of time. So durability of textiles in these matrices and you need to have models for designing. It's very complicated because you have so many configurations. But we need to have models. So this is one study that we are doing. Me, Sachin and all are involved in this work where we are trying to develop a matrix which can which, which, which will be able to have a durable DRC system with e glass textiles. For that, what we are doing is we are trying to find the effect of different cementitious binders on the textiles, special binders for e glass based TRC, and develop data change so that you can come for a low cost option. So, there you need innovation. You have to start thinking out of the box. How to modify the material so that it suits India. And if you can establish the durability characteristics, you can prove like military, crash, crash, like what I said, crash uh, guards, uh, other blast resistant structures. Even if we can even think of these nuclear power plant containment walls and all, we can think of using material like glass. So it's a material with a lot of potential, a lot of work needs to be done. Okay. One more thing I tell you, uh, in, in, generally in India we are little bit late in adopting things, you know. Like, um, once something is launched in the market internationally, it comes to How do you specify concrete mix? Thank you for those highly valuable data regarding concrete sustainability, fiber reinforced concrete, textile reinforced concrete, and high performance composites, and its opportunity. I hope it will favor the growth, exposure, and other people every individual present Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Join the next session by 120.